Hey y'all, so Dustin Shaper here, the Keto Pro. We're gonna talk about the three tips to help transition you into a keto diet. Um, so these are really simple, but I promise you, if you start Googling and getting overwhelmed with all, all the information out there, you're going to get lost. 20 years been doing this, and there's a process that you have to go through if you wanna maintain and get long-term great results. So this is, and this is gonna shock you. If you've been Googling a little bit, you're gonna be a little bit like, this guy know what he's talking about? What I do know is people, and to get into ketosis is phases. You, it takes time. It takes up to six weeks to get keto adapted. That's why this is a six week, six week program. And if you try to rush to the end, you actually feel like shit and you don't wanna feel like shit. You wanna feel good through this whole process. So here we go. These are the three tips. Number one is do not start increasing your fat. I said do not start increasing your fat intake. Don't do that. That's a bad idea. The reason why is that a lot of people, they've been trained, they, they're, they're, you shift your diet with a high fat, it can really affect your GI tract, and you don't wanna do that. What you wanna do instead, and this is tip two, is reduce your carbohydrates. So the focus is in this week is really get your carbs down. Your, your goal is to kind of shoot them below 20 grams of carbs. I don't want you to get one of those little calculators and measure everything. If you're a person that has to do that, do it, but know that long-term, if you do that, you won't get long-term results. You have to get rid of those tools. You can use it from time to time. But the, so, so tip two is get those carbohydrates down. Um, what do I mean by that? Is So you're gonna start cutting out the pastas, the rice, the, the, the bagels, the cereals, the chips the whites, let's call it. So any type of uh, starches, you're gonna wanna cut down. Any type of, uh, even milks in the white products, I would reduce those because they have a lot of carbs in it. Um, there is some dairy that you can get away with, like uh, aged cheese is fine if you're dairy tolerant. But you wanna get those carbs low. And I'm gonna give you some tips of what you can eat, so hold tight. Also down below, I'm gonna have a list of foods that you can choose from. And number three tip is don't worry about protein consumption. Most people need more, especially if you're my audience, you're probably not in your, your strapping 20s. If you are, appreciate you for following. You're probably a little bit older, uh, above the age of 35, maybe 45 or 50. You need protein. Protein's really, really important. And most of you are not needing to be in ketosis for medical reasons. So don't be afraid of protein. Now, at the same time, I don't want you to necessarily start eating a 16 ounce ribeye three times a day because that's just too much and you don't need that much. So, But I don't want you to be afraid of it. If you start Googling, people go, well, yeah, oh, my protein's too high and my carbs are too low and my fat's not high enough. You won't get results if that's how you're looking at this. So recap again, the three most important things that you wanna do when you're in this first phase getting started is do not increase your fat intake. We're gonna do that in the next couple of weeks. We're gonna teach you how to do that. We don't wanna let your gallbladder work naturally. We wanna let your GI tract not have to go through those ups and downs of too much fat and causing you diarrhea and all these irritations. Number two is get those carbs down low. So your focus right now is really low carb. You will still get into ketosis, and that's the most important thing about being in ketosis, is elevating your ketone levels, not increasing your fat intake initially. And then number three is do not worry about your protein. Um, simple rule of thumb is if you're a woman, usually you're gonna have two to three decks of cards of protein a day. Um, two to three decks of cards of protein a day. If you're a man, you're looking at three to five. On average, if you're an athlete, if you work out, it's gonna be a little different, but that's the simplicity of this all. Here's a couple little added bonuses. Um, hydrations are really important. I want you to drink a lot of water. Um, if you use filtered water, we're gonna to have to use electrolytes. We're gonna to have to increase and start, and, and, and be okay with salting your food. You need more sodium when you go ketosis, otherwise you're gonna feel like crap. That keto flu is really dehydration for most people. And so the other last thing I wanna give you is do not stress about this. If you hadn't watched the first week video about preparation, definitely watch that first. And so remember, don't worry about fat right now. Start going low carb. Don't worry about protein right now. We'll address that as we go forward based on your results and how you feel and how you're doing. Um, and then down below, we're gonna have a food list of things that you can basically print out and you can start looking at these are the foods you choose. These are what you, um, these are the foods that you're gonna avoid. So y'all, thanks for following. Down below, get some more information. Cheers. This is week week two of your keto transformation. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. For the next video of the series, check out right here. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that we send out the next video, you get notified, and you can check out the latest on the keto journey. Cheers, y'all.